Hello, boys and girls. I can see that several of you are joining us. That is my elbow in the shot right now. Why? Because we are procrastinating about going live. Boom. Oh, hit the button. Hit the button. Come on. Hit the button. Hit the button. There we go. Hey. How's everybody doing? Got some folks here joining us this evening. All righty. And here's the bad part. I was actually watching the iPad instead of watching that, which was live, and that's like 10-second delay. <laughs> so I look like an idiot. All right, let's see what we got. Let me get a let me get my let me get my request here going. Let's do this, son. That's right. That's right. Jocko Deal is watching. Hello, Jocko. Hello, Scott. Hello, Mary Kay. Hope you and the family are safe and sound up in uh, Minneapolis. Let's see. Hello, Benita. Hello, Cynthia. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to do tonight. Why? Because I'm a horrible pre-planner. Want to, uh, real quick, want to wish Alex Sean a um, a very happy birthday. Tomorrow is his birthday. And uh, I don't even know if Alex is on here with us tonight. We met Alex last year down at Disney World. His uh, his wonderful Aunt Terry brought him, his Aunt Terry, and, uh, and her husband brought Alex out to, uh, to visit with us. And uh, so it is great to uh, be on here tonight, Alex, and get to wish you a happy 20th birthday tomorrow. So uh, hope you uh, enjoy your 20th birthday, my man. All right. We uh, had a request for this one. We haven't played this one in a couple weeks. So uh, we're going to jump in and play the very first song we ever had out on the radio because we got lots of great guests. We have two wonderful guests tonight. And uh, you may know and you may not, but we uh, I'm not even going to tell you anymore because – if you hadn't been paying attention, it's your fault. Here we go. Well, now Jacob was a dirt poor farm boy. Raised at the fork in the road and a clapboard house. Rachel was a land baron's daughter, born with a silver spoon in her mouth. Her daddy said he would stand. Rachel don't waste her life with common man. He tried hard to keep them apart, but you can't draw lines in a young girl's heart. My mama's watching. So late one night by the harvest moon, Jacob climbed the ladder up to Rachel's room. He knew his place. It was right beside her. Step by step to her world, head over heels for a brown eyed girl, and get caught. It didn't seem to matter, cause heaven was waiting at the time for Jacob's ladder. It'll be five years, September, since your daddy found a ladder and a note on her window sill. Or he'd never forgive them. Nothing melts a heart like a grandchild will. And now she climbs up on his knee. Says, Grandpa, tell a story. But what about me? And he thinks back and his eyes shine. Says, Listen, child, once upon a time, late one night by the harvest moon. Daddy climbed a ladder to your mama's room. He knew his place. It was right beside her. Step by step onto her world. And over heels from a little girl. Here you are. That's all that matters. Because heaven was waiting at the top of Jacob's ladder. Oh, an angel was waiting at the top. Jacob's Ladder. Woohoo! All right, 
right, well, <clears throat> wanted to get that started off by request tonight. I, I do not remember uh, who it was for, uh, but there you have it. We're going to jump right in. Not going to waste any time because last week we had some people complaining that, you know, we were talking too much. And I just want to remind y'all that it's a free show and it's my show. And I got two people that we're going to talk a lot tonight. So... Let's see here. Do we have uh, Do we have Mr. Michael Ray? Is he getting ready to join us? Let's see if we're uh, if we can pop him in here. Hey, my man. What's up, buddy? How are you? Oh, good. I had to make sure my microphone was turned on. So I was singing Jacob's Ladder <laughs> top of my lungs here in the front room, and I was like, I don't know if I'm. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the beautiful thing about these kind of events that we're getting to do right now is that we're getting to visit virtually and have people just join in and uh, request songs and talk to us and kind of interact and all that kind of good stuff. Like I'm, I'm watching the scroll go by on the, you know, on, on the, uh, iPad that's right here in front of me, and it's so cool. So, uh, welcome to the bunker, dude. Thank you for having me, man. This is awesome. Have uh, how have you been uh, enjoying uh, quarantine? Man, it's been good. You know, I think the last few weeks, uh, probably last three, maybe maybe four weeks. You know, I'm not. I mean, you know how it is. Man, this is as much as any of us have been slowed down in in years. Man, you and I've talked about it the other day on the phone. It's like, yeah. You, you 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 start off being like, oh, yeah, we'll take the time. It'll be good. You know, we're always going, man, if I just had a day to catch up on rest or a day to catch up on this. And then uh, about a month a month into that, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm starting to itch. I'm starting ready to get out. And, and I'm get done with this so, rest thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, fortunately, you know, we got things like you said like this. And I feel like uh, being able to use these these platforms like this just keeps everybody even probably even closer than we've ever been. As far as actually getting yeah. to interact with fans and, and each other and hearing requests and and all that stuff, so thank God. We, we well, this. I I did I did your Instagram like what six weeks ago, About six weeks eight ago, weeks yeah. ago, something like that, and it was so cool from from my perspective to be the old guy on the new guys, uh, you know, on 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 your Instagram feed and to watch people interacting uh you know when i was just singing a couple of songs that was that was really that was neat but at the, you know but, but at the same time it's like man i i feel like an old guy <laughs> no dude no 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 you, you brought everybody to school man that's what's uh that and that's what i love you know that's why i like you know i we you and i talked about this the other day on the phone about um you know how music evolves and changes throughout the years and generations yeah. and stuff and one thing that i that, that I love about country music is very rarely do you see a genre where, you know, I grew up listening to Mark Wills. My dad owned everything Mark Wills ever did. And now to be able to, to, to be friends with you and Kelly and your family and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, for you to answer my call to go, Hey man, you want to try to, we'd be on this Instagram thing. We're going to try to do see if it'll, it'll work or whatever. You know, it's, uh, it's really cool, man. And I, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's a cool time. I don't know. It's, 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 it's fun, man. It's fun to be able to, uh, to be able to jam out with, with people that, that, made a big impact on you as an artist. Well, I, that's what I was going to say. You know, you and I did talk about that and I, and, and I sort of, I kind of gave you my perspective on it was like, you know, when I got to be friends with Randy Owen right. or when I got to be friends with, you know, the, the diamond Rio guys or restless heart or the people, you know, the, the Bellamy brothers, you know, I mean, the the first week we the first week that we did this from the bunker we we had the Bellamy brothers on and for me as a fan dude that was like that's like the coolest thing in the world <laughs> yeah, because man. you know you're 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 getting to sort of live out your childhood it's like you know i get to be friends with the guys that you know that i've listened to my whole life so totally. so I, so i'm i'm honored that i'm the old guy that that you listen to your whole oh. life and, and <laughs> You you got your guitar here with us, right? I do, buddy. I do. What do you? Uh, so we're going to talk about your new record, but but jump in here and play us something. Uh, give the give the folks out here in Facebook Lane, give them something to uh, to enjoy uh, a good old Michael Ray song right off the bat. All right, I'll play. Uh, 
I'll play one that uh that they made a number one for me. Uh, okay. Closed out my first album on this, and uh, I don't know if you ever if you had one of those songs, Mark. That we never played this song live. Nothing. I never. I always loved the song, but wasn't really sure about it. And then when we came time to try to pick a last single for the record, all signs fan wise were pointing to this song. Yeah. And I went, well, I guess this is what we go with, and ended up being my biggest. Probably my biggest song still to date. Uh, and it was a song that I never even played live, nothing. We never really put that much light on it. Uh, and uh, and I'm gr- grateful that the fans uh, heard something in it and, uh, and, and made it some- made it what it was. It's called Think a Little Less. Show it to them. I'm move this. Uh, there it is. Midnight's creeping in, we know that we're leaving here together. And in case you were wondering, you never looked hard. Why even bother looking at the reasons not to? Baby, we ought to. to kiss a little more, think a little less. Burning up the night like a cigarette. Get you out of this bar, out of that dress. Kiss a little more, kiss a little more, think a little less. Friends start asking you to look them in the eyes, tell a white lie, how I dropped you off at home and I walked you to the door. Nothing more, tomorrow you can say we're just friends, but baby, till then. Kiss a little more, think a little less. Burning up the night like a cigarette. Get you out of this bar, out of that dress. And kiss a little more, kiss a little more, think a little less. Now go warm up the truck. If you want a hot beat, give you a minute or two. Say goodbye to your friends. And gotta go home, but we gotta get gone. Cause we've already waited way too long to kiss a little more. Think a little less. And do the only thing we've been thinking about doing since the moment, girl, we met. Kiss a little more, think a little less. Burning on the night like a cigarette. And get you out of this bar, out of that dress. Kiss a little more, kiss a little more. Kiss a little more, think a little less. Burning on the night like a cigarette. And get you out of this bar, out of that dress. And kiss a little more. Kiss a little more, think a little less. Think a little less. You think a little less. Nice. <laughs> Good job, man. my man. Thank you. It's kind of fun. It's kind of funny. I was, uh, my phone goes off while you were singing and I looked down and it was a buddy of mine and he was like, dude, he's a good dude. And I was like, yes, he is a good dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are, you are, uh, you are one of, you're one of my favorite new young acts. And you and I were talking about this the other day because, you know, and we, and you sort of alluded to it a minute ago. You talked about how music has changed over the years and, and how, you it seems like over the last probably 10 years specifically there has been this divide in the country music yeah. world and that divide has been you know oh i want my country to sound like the music that i grew up listening to back in you know 1985 through 1995 and then you have the the new kids that are coming in and they're doing something different and for man for us for for me you have kind of done such a great job at making contemporary country music, but at the same time, 
keeping sort of that traditional portion of it, uh, you know, in there. And that's, that's so cool. I, I applaud you for, uh, for, for loving the music that you grew up listening to and continuing to sort of make that, you know, into the new music. Like I was going through today and I was just looking, you know, looking through some of your songs. I love real men love Jesus. Oh, thank you. Know, you man. That's like one of those, that's exactly one of those songs that to me is a timeless song. You Thanks. could have recorded it 20 years ago. You could have recorded it, you know, even even further back. But it's still yeah. a great song. And so, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there and and uh, and tell you that 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 I love you. I think you're I think you're a great young man. Um, you know, I, I think you're I think I think you way over married too. Oh yeah, I mean, if you're going to shoot for the fence, it's not going to the park, right? <laughs> just just say it. I just I. I, I think you, I think you overmarried, you know, hey, but, I just, but I was watching you, man. I was like, okay, this is how he did it. Okay. <laughs> she's sitting back. She's, she's 10 feet away from me. And I was getting ready to turn the camera around and she goes, don't you dare. I've been at the lake all day. <laughs> it's like hair in a bun, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, so you just finished up a new record or, or are you, are you done with it or is it almost, is it almost? No, done? we're actually, uh, we're about four songs in, man. It's been, it's been an interesting time, you know, with the quarantine, uh, recording, you know, normally for anybody watching that doesn't maybe necessarily know how the studio works, uh, you know, being in the studio and working in person with, with the musicians and seeing just how right. talented they are and just th there's, there, there are magic that, that is created during that time that you you're not this just happens you know what i mean you, right you've been there you know like oh absolutely this happens so i was i was a little worried about how it would be with um i've been watching oh carly said she's watching <laughs> <laughs> she can jump in tell her to come on in you know <laughs> i've not been at the lake but i look like i've been in a truck <laughs> oh fair enough fair enough okay i get it i get it um, so uh so um you know, I didn't know if we'd be able to kind of recreate that. And uh, it's been it's 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 been fun. It's been different. But uh, we I think we have kind of did recreate. I, I had a question today. They're like, will, will we hear a difference in the quality? And I'm like, no, there's no difference. Let Thank God for technology and home studios. But uh, it's been about four songs in. I think we, we just did uh, the, the fourth vocal yesterday. And yeah. then just kind of going by that, we, we got more, a little bit of time on our hands. So. Uh, really making sure that every song is is exactly what, what you know how we want it, and uh, yeah. it's been cool, man. It's been fun, and you know, this record for me, I've been very fortunate to have uh, some success at radio and on the road. That that I feel like this record, when it comes out, Mark will be. Th this is this this is even more um, my. What I want, what I moved to Nashville to make, which is yeah, country music, and uh, and and obviously with a mix of some contemporary, but uh, it's really going to sh shine a lot of light on, uh, on on what I was raised on and and truly what I what I love in country music. Well, when the when you when when the phone rings on this end for me to come in and do a duet, I'll be there. You know, buddy, I am in. Y'all heard it here. <laughs> Y'all heard it here live from the bunker. Well, we we talked about this, but I want you to I want you to kind of give a little bit of you know give a little bit of your personal side of that because I I truly believe like you know when when we talked a couple of weeks ago I grew up listening to Alabama and George Strait and Garth Brooks you know that was that was kind of over a, about a fifteen twenty year period that was that was the big music but for you. You know, for you guys coming around, you're even the the music that you grew up listening to is even younger than that. You know, I mean, you said you the day we talked, the day that you came to my Opry induction, and you were talking about man, how you listened to all my music growing up, and and that was just like that was that was cool. I, that was a big honor for me to yeah, you know man, to I mean, have 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 you guys doing that. Yeah, I mean, you know, one one thing that I, I guess I didn't really know how fortunate I was until to 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 be exposed to a lot of the country music that I was exposed to until later on in life. You know, I grew up on I grew up on you. I grew up on you know Tracy. I grew up on Mark Chestnut and 
Joe Diffie and uh, you know Aaron Tippin and all these all the you know Martina McBride, Trisha Year. I mean, just that that the nineties yeah. era of country music. But what I my first introduction to country music was was you know, today I started loving you. Like I grew up on Haggard, Bobby Bear, uh, Earl Thomas Conley, John Conley, uh, you know Porter Wagner. I made my opera yeah. debut April 24, 2015 with Green Green Grass at Home, uh, Porter Wagner's That's version. Awesome. So for me, I had this mixture of country music that I grew up on because my family had their band. And it was mm-hmm. a mixture of what my grandpa grew up on and also a mixture of what my dad and his cousins of that generation were listening to, which was 90s country, you know, in, in that yeah. era of, of country music. So I felt very fortunate to... Uh, to, to be able to to have that from kind of both angles, you know what I mean? Like yeah. as that, I, I'd, I'd play, uh, you know, might be what I'd say with my grandpa and play, you know, it, you know as something from from you know, Randy Travis with my with my with my dad. And um, well, give us one of those. Give us give us one of those songs that you grew up listening to. Let's see. All right, I'll do a, I'll do some old Haggard. Okay. Hey. I- Started loving you And I'm right back Where I really know And I got over you Just long enough To let my heart and today, I start in loving you. What a fool I was to think I could get back. With only these few million tears that Well, I should have known worse yet to come. And the crying time for me had just begun. Today I started loving And I'm right back where I really always been. I got over you just long enough to let my heart ache. And today I started loving you. Then today, I started loving you. Nice. Nice. Thank you, man. I want some Merle in there, baby. Yeah. Well, I know, I know, I told you I was going to keep you for 30 minutes. We're, we're, we're like at 25. So, uh, what do you, uh, are you going to play another one of your hits? What are you, what else are you going to throw on at us here? Um, uh, let's, um, uh, hmm. I'll tell you what, let me see if I can. What do you want to hear, Macy? Macy's back here. She's like, Macy's like, Macy's like anything, anything. Hey, Macy, yeah, we want to hear. What do we got? It's Macy all request hour. <laughs> huh? Her world or mine? Oh, I can do that. Okay, there you go. This it's song, request this from the back row. Makes me seem like a way better guitar player than I am. So. <laughs> oh come on! I, those are good ones. Those are good ones. I love those. But um, man, this song uh, was my my song on radio, and uh, one thing that I always loved about about your music, man, was the story. 
Jacob's Ladder, you know, Don't Laugh at Me, uh, 19 something. Like, you had so many incredible songs of, of like, you could put yourself in that character. You know what I mean? You could put yourself yeah. in that song. And um, when this song came across, um, no, it was I going through it, but I felt that in this song. I felt like, man, this feels like a song that one of the guys I grew up listening to would have yeah. recorded. And uh, and it's been it's been it's it's been an incredible journey with this song. And uh, it, it wrapped up my Amos album. And uh, yeah, I'll play it. Here you go, Mace. Awesome, brother. <laughs> One of us still has our picture taped up on the dash. One of us took that one from Mexico, threw it in the trash. One of us don't even notice the radio plays that song. One of us breaks down and has to pull over. Never it comes on. There ain't no in between. When it comes to her and me, one of us moved on. One of us got stuck. One of us is drinking just for fun. One of us is drinking to get drunk. One of us sleeps good. One of us takes to face the night. Just depends if you're talking about her world or mine. There's a number on. One of us are rats. There's a late night, can we try again? Call one of us wants to make. Cause one of us can't even think about being in another's arms. And there's a car in the drive that stayed all night where one of us used to park. One of us moved on. One of us got stuck. One of us is drinking just for fun. One of us is drinking to get drunk. One of us sleeps good. One of us hates to face the night. Just depends if you're talking about her world. Oh, why we had forever in our hands. That's why one of us can't understand. How one of us moved on. One of us got One of us is drinking just for fun. One of us is drinking to get drunk. One of us sleeps good. One of us hates to face the night. Just depends if you're talking about her world or mine. Yeah, that's the difference between her world or mine. Awesome, brother. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you, awesome. Hey, I got a real quick, I want you to do me a favor. Uh, uh, Mally has a friend, Diane. Well, actually, we all have a friend, Diane. There's in New York City. Her sister-in-law is 
probably yeah it's 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 negotiable as to whether she's your biggest fan or not and uh her name is dory ann she's in virginia okay. and so uh i was asked if you would just throw out a shout out to dory ann tonight in virginia dory ann in virginia how are you doing sweetheart hope you're doing well uh hopefully we'll be able to get to virginia soon and uh i think we got mutual friends everybody's six six degrees apart right so we got some friends that uh, I'd love Absolutely. to meet you if I ever get to uh, get to come through Virginia. So come on over, hit them up, and uh, we'll get you some meet and greets. Hey, brother, listen, thank you so very much for uh, for jumping on here with us tonight. I love you. I love Carly. Uh, I cannot wait until I am not stuck in the bunker to where I can come to Nashville. And the next time we're in Nashville, if you guys are in Nashville, uh, we'll all get together and go out to dinner. Uh, and y'all can set that, six. Man. You can set six feet away from us, and we'll like <laughs> throw appetizers at each other. We'll take cool? each other from tables apart. From exactly. <laughs> we'll put a table between us That's and be like, "Hey, how y'all doing over there? Y'all doing good, man? You look like you're having fun time." <laughs> hey, listen, brother. I love you. Thank you for uh, you, thank you for taking your time tonight and jumping on here with us. Tell your family hello. Uh, you and Carly be safe, and uh, we, we will see y'all very soon. We'll do. We love you guys. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Happy Memorial Day to you, to you too, buddy. Be safe. Thank you, buddy. Y'all too. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Ray. That's my boy. I love him. He is a super, super good young man. <clears throat> We're going to jump right from Michael Ray into uh, one of my all-time favorite. So, so Michael talks about loving my music. Uh, We're going to bring somebody on that I am probably – his biggest fan and uh and i think he's here with us i think he's i think he's here let me look over here see if he's here is he here are we here is he here matt, matt, matt says the frozen stall for a second. oh it's frozen uh, okay okay oh did, did i lose him because i heard something click there a minute ago so it's maybe on, we it's on Steve's end. okay we may have lost we may have lost him for a second but i am so excited that hopefully uh steve warner is going to join us tonight um for those of you who see, I just I saw it. I saw it on the oh, yes, there he oh, is. Goodness. What's up, Mark? I can't oh, hear yeah. you, but I see yeah. you, and you are the handsomest man. I I can't say that. I I don't. I can't. I can't hear you. Hold on. Let's see if we can. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get the uh, our tech guys to talk so that we can. Hear the lovely Steve Warner. Yeah. Matt's working on it. Sounds Matt is great. working on it. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I love I I love watching you? Steve Warner pat his cheeks on on video. That's hold on hold on. Let me let me let me zoom my camera in. So I'm gonna uh I'm gonna here we'll pat our cheeks together. Ready? Here we go. Come on, Steve. This is Man. this is me blowing kisses to Steve Warner. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We have to have to be careful. Have to be careful with it. Oh, oh no! Please, Matt's just hiding him for a second. So Matt's hiding. Okay, I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure we we're. Uh... They're just fixing the audio. All right, hold on, guys. We're getting the audio up here. Because y'all are in for a treat. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, hello, Jody. Hello, uh, Rick. Hello, Emily. Hello, Marilyn. Julie. Abby. Uh, Tracy. Shannon. Carrie. Darlene. Uh, Patty. It's hard to see. I've got two different iPads going at two different times hello Lori. y'all could hear him i couldn't hear him uh so i don't know i let's let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can bounce back in let's see if we can bounce stevie back in and uh this thing is on like a 10 second delay I can't believe. Can y'all hear Steve? Um, 
if it yes yeah, are you okay so so we're 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 we're, we're working on it on our end uh not exactly sure uh Rhett, our our internet fella is sitting over here and he is he is seeing if it is broadcasting because we don't have speakers down here we can't hear uh, if it's coming through or not on this end but um no steve on facebook live okay okay hello mckaysville uh hello emily hello radar where's your shirt we haven't even printed them yet radar settle down we'll get it to you i promise um for those of by the way while we're while we're waiting to see if we can get that up thank you guys so very much we uh our our square uh, our web store was overrun with requests for the uh, shirt tonight is the last night that we're going to have those uh probably by tomorrow about noon we're shutting off the uh, uh the pre-order and they're going to go into production so um i hope you got your live from the bunker shirt and if you did not uh hopefully it will be very very soon uh let's see uh, let's see if we can get back here uh and maybe the maybe our technical people in nashville um will have this figured out i i don't know i feel like uh i feel like you know one of the tv hosts i just sit here and people behind the scenes are going no there's nothing there my emotional support animal, my cat, is under the table underneath us, licking the back of my leg. So, which yeah. is weird. We're gonna try one more time. See if try one more time. Yeah, yeah, please. If not, they'll pull off. Okay, I see you. I can see you. I can't hear. <laughs> Hold on. I got. We got to make this work. We've got to make this work. Ugh. Please get me some audio. Please get some audio. I have got my request. I've got like 40 requests for Steve Warner tonight. So like, you know, we've got to get the audio up and running. Uh, hmm. Huh? Well, I tell you what, Matt. While while uh, while you guys work on that on your end, I'm gonna play a uh, a request that we had from here, and maybe y'all can get that squared away. I'll play this song since we had a request for it, and then uh, we'll go from there. I forgot what key it's in. Well, I'm chasing down a memory Of the way things used to be Kids playing underneath an old street light Knowing they were safe when they lay down at night Looking for something I ain't seen in a while I'm looking for a factory Where a man can feed his family Not worrying about them moving it south Closing the doors and shutting it down tomorrow Looking for America Land of the free and the home of the brave Seems like I just woke up one day And it was gone Long gone But I know in my heart it's still out there Can Somebody please tell me where I'm looking for America I'm searching for an old church steeple where inside you'll find people who live their lives unashamed and they ain't afraid to say God's name out loud. I'm looking for America. 
Land of the free and the home of the brave. Seems like I just woke up one day and it was gone. Long gone. But I know in my heart it's still out there. Somebody please tell me where I'm looking for America. Well, I'm out here looking for the truth. Truth. A few folks to wave the red, white, and blue Still believe freedom isn't free And I guess it's up to you and me to find it Yeah, we gotta find it Cause we're looking for The land of the free and the home of the brave Seems like I just woke up one day and it was gone, long gone. But I know in my heart it's still out there. Can somebody please tell me where I'm looking for. We're all looking for. Yeah, we're looking for America. America. Well, Matt says they couldn't get him. He wants to come try next week. He's gonna. He's gonna come back. We're gonna. We're gonna. Um, really? Uh, he doesn't, doesn't have his, kill the bird. Doesn't have his tech people over there. Oh, uh, okay. I got bad news. I got bad news. I'm I'm looking at it from this end right here, and uh, Matt, our guy in Nashville, is saying that for some reason, I don't. Are there storms? We've had storms here tonight, and I don't know if there's a a problem with the weather or what. Uh, but Steve, uh, they can't get the audio from Steve, so um, we're scheduled. We're going to reschedule for next week. Yeah, is that what we're going to do? Steve wants to come back next. Steve week. wants to come back next week. Okay. Steve will be back with us next week. Um, so get your request in for Steve Warner uh, for next Monday, and uh, we will ha have him on here with us. So let's just jump in. Maybe you should do a Steve song. I, I can't do a Steve song. I mean, I mean, I could do a Steve song, but, you know, I, okay, I think I will do a Steve song. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Well, let's just let's just fake our way through a Steve Warner song. If Steve, if you're listening, um, if you're on the other end, I'm going to do my absolute best to play the worst. Uh, version of your song that could ever be played because I'm like one fiftieth of the guitar player you are. So I'll give you my version of a Steve Warner song and then, or a piece of it, and then maybe next week we can get the whole thing from you. I didn't cheat. I didn't lie. So her leaving took me by surprise Just a note on the table Saying where through At first I went crazy So it took me some time But I finally read between the lines It's not what I did It's what I did I didn't tell her Each day I loved her I took it for granted 
Somehow she knew I didn't hold her when she needed a shoulder. It's not what I did, it's what I didn't do. Oh, it's not what I did, it's what I didn't. I can't even begin to play a Steve Warner song while there's a possibility that Steve Warner is on the other end trying to figure out audio issues. Um, okay, so we're going to get Steve back on, uh, on, on next Monday. And uh, we're just going to plow through. Um, somebody asked for uh, this one. We haven't played this one in a while. So, uh, y'all get your request in. I, I'm, I'm watching the, uh, I'm watching the feed. So y'all get your request in and we're just going to play you a few of these right here. All right. This is a good old, this is a good old Mark Wills song. I've never seen sunset in Montego Bay But my heart melts when you look at me that way I've never seen the snow fall from a rocky mountain sky but I get a chill by looking in your eyes. Cause you take me places that I've never been. Travel the world in your arms back again. I've no need to wander or go chasing those four winds. Cause you take me places I've never been. They never see wonders of this earth I may never hold treasures of great worth I could search the whole world over but I don't have to go that far cause I've got it all right here in my arms you take me places that I've never been travel the world in your arms back again I am no Chasing those four winds Cause you take me places I've never been Cause you take me places I've never been Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. You know, it's kind of weird for me, and, and, and I probably say this every week, 
it's a little weird for me when um when I am sitting here playing and there's like a 10 second delay between the the screen here the the computer and the screen and the uh the the iPad and when uh I see comments come in and I and being the poster child for ADD um Many times I just want to stop right in the middle of a song and start playing something else. So <clears throat> somebody requested this one and uh, I'll play this one. I walked in the tattoo shop on the beach in Alabama. Sun set low, fading fast. Showed the man her lipstick kiss on that torn piece of paper. Said he'd do it for a hundred dollars cash. Give me that color red Put it there where she used to lay her head Dip that needle in the ink Let that burgundy sink Through the sunburn We can left behind The apron day is coming and gone got a role and I don't know when I'll hold her again so until then I want to wake up with her kiss on my skin I worked all summer with the band at the floor of Bama Barn Saw her there the first night that we played. Lip flops a hundred times, red bands in her hair. Wild and sweet like the hurricanes we train. They turned into September. By now, Touching down in Denver so Dip that needle in the ink Let that burgundy sink Through the sunburn We can left behind Labor Day is coming gone Me and the boys have got a roll And I don't know when I'll hold her again until then, I want to wake up with her kiss on my skin. And I'll hold her again So until then I want to wake up with her kiss On my skin No applause is necessary. No applause is necessary. There you go. <laughs> oh, let's see here. I saw one for a song that I recorded called Time Machine. Uh, I do not know. I do not know if um, I remember all that one or not, but... I'm going to give it a whirl. 
Hang on, let me tune. I've just changed strings on my guitar today. Um, another bonehead move. But I wasn't planning on playing very much tonight. I was going to let everybody hear Steve Warner and Michael Ray. So um, give me one second and let me uh, tune up here. Rhett, how's everything going over there? Get the thumbs up, the golden thumbs up. So that's a good, that's pos That's a positive. Huh? I wouldn't call it that. You wouldn't, it's not a golden thumbs up? It's a good thumbs up? Okay, cool. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's a silver thumbs up. I don't know if this is the right key or not. I'm going to go to F. If I could invent a time machine I'd go back and change a few things I'd be there that cold rain night And make sure Patsy Klein didn't fly and I would dive her to Dallas Parade For a little longer we'd have JFK And on my way back from the past to the now I'd swing my stop off at our house And I wouldn't say what I said on the day you left me what a better place this world would be if I had a time machine. Don't know the danger or the consequence. I'd create if I altered events But take a look at this whole world we've got You'd have to admit it'd be worth a shot One stop in New York land and still dreams Two stops in Memphis Memphis, long live to Kings. And on my way back from the past to the now, I would swing by and stop off at our house. And I wouldn't say what I said on the day you left me. What a better place this world would be if I had a time machine. What a better place this world would be If I had a time machine Oh, a time machine That's a great song. All right. What else y'all want to hear? Uh, I saw one for I Do Cherish You. Um, huh? Oh, but yeah. <laughs> this portion of the show brought to you by Icebreakers. People want to know your favorite flavor so they can bring them to the show. People want to. Do they really? Yeah. No, uh, it's the cool mint. Hold on. There you go. 
Cool Mint. So we're clear, if they're not sealed, I'm not eating them. Okay? Because, you know, I have some I have some nice friends, but I have some people I just don't trust. Okay? Just so we're clear. Um, and, and, and you know who you are. That's all I'll say. <clears throat> Waylon. Let me see here. I did a Waylon song a couple weeks ago. Let me see. The only two things in life that make it worth living is guitars tuned good and firm, feeling women. Bill, if you're on the other end of the thing and you're going to make fun of the way my guitar sounds, I turned the phaser on, okay? I don't need my name in the marquee lights. I got my song. I got you with me tonight. Baby, it's time we got back to the basics of love. Let's go to Luganbach, Texas, Waylon and Willie and the boys. This successful life we're living's got us beautiful like the Hatfields and McCoys. Between Hank Williams' pain songs and Newberry's train songs and blue eyes crying in the rain. Down in Lucan by Texas, there ain't nobody feeling no pain. So baby, let's sell your diamond ring, buy some boots and faded jeans and go. This coat and tie is choking me And in your high society You cry all day We've been so busy Keeping up with the Jones For car garage And we're still building on Maybe it's time we got back To the basics of love Let's go to Lugan by Texas, Waylon and Willie and the boys. This successful life for living's got us feeling like the Hatfields and the Coles. Between Hank Williams' pain songs and Newberry's train songs and blue eyes crying in the rain. Down in Lukenbach, Texas, there ain't nobody feeling no pain. Down in Lukenbach, Texas, there ain't nobody feeling no pain. Okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Some Alabama, don't laugh at me. Wish you were here. Uh, uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna play uh, we're gonna play uh, a piece of wish. Uh, we played that last week or the week before, and uh, and and so we'll play a piece of this, and then we're gonna kind of wrap it up for the evening. Uh, he, I just saw uh, on the screen that it said Steve Warren. Is an incredible musician, and he is an incredible musician. And uh, and he and I have been trying to get this together for about three weeks now. And so, uh, if you missed him tonight, if you were tuning in late, it wasn't that you missed him; it's that we were having technical issues on his end or our end. We're not exactly sure. Steve is going to come back next week. We're also going to have another guest next week, so it might be a little bit longer than uh, than you're used to, but that's okay because, as I've said before. It's free. I saw something about Waffle House. Waffle House sounds really good. Uh, see, that's the squirrel in me right there. I mean, yeah, that's like twice. <sighs> Yeah, Waffle House. They can't skip by at the 
terminal gate. She said, you're going to be late if you don't go. He held her tight, said, I'll be all right. I'll call you tonight to let you know. He bought a postcard on the front, just said, with a picture of the ocean and the beach And the simple words he wrote her Said he loved her and they told her How he'd hold her if his arms would reach Squirrel is right Wish you were here Wish you could see this place Wish you were Wish I could touch your face The weather's nice It's paradise It's summertime all year And all the folks we know They say hello I miss you so Wish you were here The weather's nice In paradise It's summertime all year And all the folks we know they say hello, I miss you so, wish you were here. Wish you were here. Well, Jocko, I hope you are. Uh, hope you're out there. Uh, I, I I hope that you know that we will um, get all the requests put in. So if Steve is watching, or if Steve is still on the other end, if they're still trying to figure out what's going on. We have requests for "I Should Be with You." That was actually uh, my request. Uh, we have a request for the weekend from Bryce and uh, and Sarah and the kids. We have uh, my. Favorite nemesis song of Steve Warner's called Holes in the Floor of Heaven because everybody thinks that I sing that for some reason. I don't know. So we have a request for Maggie for that one and for uh, Lori. Uh, wants to hear Holes in the Floor of Heaven, Some Fools Never Learn, uh, The Weekend, stuff like that. So join us next week. We're going to get those, and, uh, and, and maybe we'll just make Steve stay for the whole hour since he stood us up this week. I don't know. I mean, he was there. I saw him. But um, uh, real quick, also, as we wrap this up, uh, I, I keep seeing people that are just joining in. Um, I don't know what to tell y'all. Uh, it starts at 9 Eastern, which is 8 in Nashville. If you live in Salt Lake City, that would be 7. If you live in California, that would be 6. So I don't change my geographical location. I'm always at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So Barry Center, if 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 I were paying you to be uh, running sound for this show, you would officially be fired because you missed the whole thing. Uh, but I love you, and you know that. Anyway, uh, wish everybody, hope everybody has had a, a very safe and uh, a very um, honored Memorial Day. Uh, today is the day that we honor our 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 fallen, the men and women who gave their lives for our country. And um, we um, we love uh, we love and appreciate all of them. We love their families. Uh, we have been fortunate enough to to get to meet many uh, Gold Star families uh, throughout our travels around the country. And uh, we just want y'all to know that we love you, and uh, we appreciate we appreciate your family sacrifice. Um, and I'm gonna end with this one right here. Thank y'all for for hanging out with us tonight, and. Uh, Sing along. I saw Star Wars at least eight times. Had the Pac-Man pattern memorized. I've seen the stuff they put inside. Stretch on strong, yeah. 
I was Roger Stahl back in my backyard and a shoebox full of baseball cards. A couple of evil can evil scars on my right arm. I was a kid when Elvis died and my mama cried. It was 1970-something in the world that I grew up in. Fair faucet hair, new days, bell bottoms and eight track tapes. Looking back now, I can see me. Oh man, did I look cheesy. I wouldn't trade those days for nothing. It was 1970-something. Well, it was the dawning of a new decade. We got our first microwave and broke down and finally shaved the most sideburns off. Took the stickers off of my Rubik's Cube, watched the TV all afternoon. My first love was Daisy Duke and them got all the jeans. The space shuttle fell out of the sky, and the whole world cried. It was 1980-something in the world that I grew up in. Skating rinks and black trans amps, big hair, parachute pants. Looking back now, I can see me. Oh man, did I look cheesy? I wouldn't trade those days for nothing. It was 1980 something. Well, now I got a mortgage and an SUV, and all this responsibility makes me wish sometimes. It was 1980-something in the world that I grew up in. Skating rings, black trans amps, big hair, bare shoe pants. Looking back now, I can see me. Oh, man, did I look cheesy. I wouldn't trade those days for nothing. It was 1980-something. 1970-something. Oh, it was 19-something. Yes, I do know the date that Elvis died. It was August 16th, 1977. And uh, I hope you guys had a good time tonight. Next week, we'll have Steve Warner. We'll also have one of my great... One of the greatest songwriters in history going to join us. I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. So you have to join us next Monday night. But, uh, say so what? Yes. Yeah, I know. Hey, I got this. Thank y'all. Um, uh, uh, a big thank you to Steve Warner for being uh, able or, or trying to get on with us tonight. A huge thank you to my friend Michael Ray and Carly. For, uh, for joining us there in the background. Uh, we love you guys. Y'all be safe and uh, a very happy uh, Memorial Day. And, and last but not least, I heard that uh, a friend of mine gave us a shout out today on their show. And I did not know until about halfway through this one tonight. So I want to send love to Lee Greenwood and Kim and their boys tonight on, uh, on this Memorial Day. Y'all be safe. Have a great evening. God bless y'all. And we will see you soon.